everyone, Eric here from Lapfix. Back at it, I got you another cool video today. Now, if you follow any of our uh, other social media platforms, even this one, if you watch the shorts on this channel, I made a short um, in a reel, Instagram reels, Facebook reels, TikTok. I actually made a lot of them, shared them all in those. If you're interested in that, go ahead, check them out. We're on pretty much every platform. Slapfix is the username there for each one. You'll see us doing a lot of cool stuff on there too, especially if you're more interested in uh, simple, not really simpler repairs, but more basic uh, show throughs of a lot of stuff. So I made one actually showing this one, but I want to talk about this one a little bit more because I think it's really important. So we have a Seagate drive here with a broken connection. And let me see if I can show the broken connection. Yeah. So you can see the damage there. Well, it's a damage port. I'll show you guys under the top view in just a little bit there. But now this is Seagate drive that has a damaged USB connection. And it's just a standard one that you can use. Let's see if I have the USB plug. I should have one right here, right? hope so. It's a standard one that just kind of uses like, you know, this plug. Very standard USB, micro USB plug. Man, actually that is big. They still use that today, huh? We still got micro USBs. Well, it's not really considered, I guess, a full micro USB. It just has another attachment to it. But uh, I forgot the exact name for it. But it's a USB drive and it's a Seagate one. So for the Seagate drives, um, they actually have a pretty straightforward way of getting data off, especially if it's just a broken connection here. So let's go ahead under the top view camera and I'm gonna show you guys this. We have the drive here, it's a little bit beat up, uh, but for these ones, I have it a little bit open anyway. That's kind of like the point of it, right? So if I actually take it out, you can take the drive out, and now what you're gonna see is really interesting here for these ones, because these ones on Seagate drives in particular have a very easy way of getting, uh, the fixing obviously like the broken connection or something, but not really fixing it, but actually this one here. So look, you can actually pop this off here. It's an adapter. So this is a USB adapter. For it and let me show you guys here so you see that is it gonna focus yeah don't like me huh there you go okay so you can see the broken connection here on it and we removed it and now this is a SATA connection on the other side and it connects obviously via uh, this is a 2.5 inch drive but that doesn't matter but it's still the same thing it's a USB board for it and it's just, a, just to make it a little bit more convenient for people who want to use it on, on a laptop, desktop, I guess, for external use and easy plug in ability. So this one, that's really about it. And all you need to do is get a sled. I can pull up, whoops, I can pull up the sled over here. I have it connected. You can go ahead and plug these into like a sled, um, like a USB sled. And it's pretty straightforward, right? You can go ahead and click it on, get the light, get the little Windows thing. And we can go over and see like a two terabyte drive here. So that's a really easy way of getting the data off of a broken USB connection on the Seagate external drive. Now, I wanna show you guys some other drives I actually do have here. So let's take a look at them. So I have another drive here. This is a Toshiba USB drive here. Obviously it's, it's a bit open, but this one has a little bit of a different connection, right? So this connection is actually broken. Then you have, a, you have a bit of a problem, why? Because there isn't an adapter here for this one, but there is a problem actually with the board itself then. You would either have to fix the connection on here, or most likely you can get a donor um, PCB board. Maybe we can swap over a BIOS, but it depends on certain models, which the type of work that you need to get done. And then there could be dam other damage as well, especially if there's a sh there could be a short here, plugging in, plugging out. There's a lot more risk for it for this damage. You can also use the PC3000, which we have here. Um, so we could do that for this one, but um, that's the Toshiba drive. Now we also do have a very popular other brand, right? Which would be probably a Western Digital Drive. Now these Western Digital Drives, USB, USB-Cs, you'll see the newer ones that kind of look like this one. This is a four terabyte drive. This is a USB-C drive. Now on the newer Western Digital Drives, we made videos actually talking about this one before. It's a lot more difficult because what's going on here, right? They have the same type of uh, problem that the other drives have is these are actually USB boards that are on here. Now, not only is that a problem really for getting data off, if there's a problem with the connection, obviously if you want to fix the connection, it's, it's a lot more work for it. But um, these ones, this is another type of a uh, board that we have here. I'd have it open. Now all Western Digital Drives, or if you even go to a website, they show that they are more hardware encrypted. And usually what that means is, uh, especially on the newer ones, um, if you're buying one today, 2023, you're going to be seeing that the drive is going to have an MCU encryption, which makes uh, even just swapping a BIOS, uh, it's still going to give a problem. Even if you like swap the BIOS over, you need to put a lot more work really into it to get the data off. And you need to do work mainly on the main board itself there. And there's other ways you can get data off. It's a lot of work 
for it. So that's why day recovery centers are what they are, and that's why we are what we are for that, um, to be doing these type of level of recoveries. Obviously, that's just saying if the board had a problem, and not even describing if the, this drive actually has a problem with it, or if there's another problem with the drive mechanically, which is usually the case over a broken uh, USB drive. So now on the other hand, we have the Seagate drive here, right? And these ones don't have the, well, at least I'm making this video, they don't really have the hardware level encryption that a Western Digital drive does. So they are a little bit, a little bit easier to work with in that way. Um, and obviously for a broken connection because they, all of them come like this with it, with a removable uh, adapter. So yeah, that's really it. Just a little rant with on talk to, to show you guys what's going on. So this really isn't a video about recommending a drive over one over the other. It's just showing you guys the differences between which each drive is, at least for the connection of a broken USB connection and what that would mean for uh, repair on certain ones. But obviously the Seagate one is the most straightforward one for it because it usually has an adapter there. Even though um, there could still be a short to it, if you break that connection, there could be another short. But this is the like simplest way, if it's just a simple broken connection on like a Seagate drive that you're gonna be able to easily recover day like this. Now, if you plug it in, you hear a clicking and grinding noise, or you hear um, that it's not coming up or you don't see it actually there, there might be another problem with the board actually here as well, then that would obviously be more of a data recovery, which we do. Um, we do more advanced level for that. So, uh, but we're just showing you guys an easy uh, thing. If it's just a simple broken connection, this is an easy way to get your data. So, hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please leave a like. Really does help us a lot. Subscribe for more content. We've got lots of data recovery videos. We also do liquid spill repairs. We do lots of cool things on board. So, you guys are interested, go ahead and check it out. I'll also, link in the Western Digital Drive if you guys are um, interested in that on how we get data and we talk about that a little bit more on the encryption. If you're interested in that, go ahead and check out those videos. And hope you guys are watching. Take care, guys. Bye.